Well, g'day, fratties and Globe Defenders. This is Critical Thing from Down Under. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Today we're going to do a short video about which model best fits observed reality, the globe model or the flat model. Hope you enjoy it. The question was recently posed to me, does the flat or globe model look more like reality? Now I've done a few of these comparisons in the past and the result has always been globe wins, flat earth fails. But today we're going to look at a particular case study. So this case study is the view from the cockpit at 46,000 feet and uh, comparing that with the blender model. Now the blender model is the one I showed on a previous video. I'm not going to show that again. I've just taken some screenshots, uh, not screenshots, I've rendered some screens from the model and I've compared them to a benchmark and a reality. The picture you see here is taken by Wolfie 6020. It's a plane cruising at 46,000 feet. In the head-up display, you can see that the eye level is shown on the display there, and you can see the horizon here. Now, the sharp-witted ones amongst you will immediately recognise that this plane is not flying over a flat earth. Now, for all of the others and uh, you flatties, you better listen up because we're going to go into uh, this comparison. Now, my first tip in this was, well, let's verify the modeling tool I've used. I've used Blender and I'm going to compare it with Walter Bislin's Horizon uh, Modeler. And there's two completely separate tools. We should get the same result if we're both modeling the same thing. And so that's how I checked the, that Blender is actually giving me a good result, an accurate result, and then I'll make the comparison with the picture from the aeroplane. Here's a screenshot from Walter Bislin's Horizon modeling tool. Now, Walter Bislin's website has a lot of amazing information. Uh, this guy is incredible. He's done a lot of work. And it's worthwhile going through and reading all the stuff there. It is truly incredible. A lot of work, very detailed, it's one very smart guy. So I've set this to be 10,000 metres observer height and a 50 millimetre focal length on the field of view, simulating a camera view. Now, I generated the same view in my blender model and I overlaid it on that and you can see that it matches pretty pretty good. We'll do the blink test on this. So this is the blink test. So there's the Walter Bislin's model and that's my blender model which I generated from the model a render from the model and you can see that it matches very well. I've also generated from Walter Bislin's again this time his advanced earth curve calculator and I've compared that as well and it compares pretty good as well. So blink and you notice that there is a slight curve in the horizon. You start to see it when you get high enough. In this case, 10,000 metres high. Now I've established that my blender model matches pretty good with Walter Bislin's calculator. So I can now use it as a comparison against the, uh, the uh, aeroplane. This view from the cockpit is about 14,000 
meter so and we'll blend in my blender model so you'll see there and i'll i'll do the blink test again so it's uh very very close almost an exact match so what do we see when we look at this we see that the eye level is positioned at the same place as on the HUD. That makes the horizon drop the same in the model and on the real photo. Now, this also has a, a curve in it, a slight curve. So what do you think that a flat earther would say about this photo? Well, generally they say a couple of things like that's a lens distortion that causes that curve or there's a curved windshield and that causes that curve. Now, Wolfie has addressed this in another video, which I'll link below, and uh, he uses the camera to take pictures of curved and straight pieces and they come out exactly curved or straight according to how they are in reality so this camera if it's curved showing in the camera it's really curved in reality now it's not complete now unless we compare the flat earth model with this so in a flat earth model now we would we would see that the flat earth should go out to the horizon, right? There's no curving of the surface. The flat surface just rises to eye level. And as you can see, the flat earth blink test fails miserably because there's a huge horizon drop there and there is a slight curve to the horizon. So in this case, the globe model matches reality. The flat earth model does not. Just to confirm, the uh, model I've got in my blender has an eye level there matching the eye level in reality in the heads up display. The globe horizon is curved and it is below eye level and it is in the same place that the model has generated it in. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before is that you notice that the globe horizon is not a perfect curve. Would you believe it that a flatty will say, look at that, it's not a perfect circle, therefore we can't take that picture into account. Yes, that's right. But when you're comparing flat with globe, you see how far distance away the flat is not even close and the globe is very, very close. So uh, if you're looking at this with an open mind, I think it's very, very clear that what you see at 46,000 feet from an aeroplane matches what you would see according to the globe model. So there again, what else can you say? Thanks very much.